Moving on to the installation of the Hyper 212 Evo. The installation of course starts with removing your old colour and placing the included backplate under your board and placing the metal standoffs through that and the CPU socket holes. I found to make installation less of a pain it is better to remove your board from the case and install the nuts this way. Now I will always forever get frustrated if I need to remove the board from the test bench however this wasn't that bad as the rest of the installation is pretty damn easy. Now once you've tightened all of them with a screwdriver you can then install the motherboard back in your case and apply the thermal compound to the CPU. Next up is installing the retention module to the cooler and adjusting the four pins and screws according to the CPU socket you're using. Last up is placing the cooler onto the CPU and tightening the four screws in an even fashion and then attaching the fan. Talking about attaching the fan, this is relatively easy thanks to the plastic clips. One thing I noticed and believe I should bring up is that after screwing all the screws down as tight as they could go, the cooler still did have some play and could be twisted while secured on the CPU. To me, if this is intentional, it seems like a poor mounting mechanism and I'm quite disappointed. This really needs some work. 